Before Aristotle lectured the young Alexander on the art of logic, or Donatello breathed life into bronze, or Galileo spied the four moons of Jupiter, or Newton theorized three laws of motion, there was a word. Our first words usually consist of a simple lip-consonant-vowel sequence, a humble and unremarkable beginning as far as beginnings go. And yet, for all its simplicity, the monosyllable mum somehow manages to encompass a whole world of warmth and protection. At eleven months old, the human infant has already begun to understand the remarkable notion that sounds pronounced correctly in a certain order can hold meaning and more so, that this meaning can be communicated and understood by others. At the turn of the 20th century, the linguist Alfredo Trombetti proposed that all human language originated from one mother tongue, that the entire wealth of human thought as we know it converged at a point, a common beginning. It all began with a spark. When man discovered fire, it illuminated the darkness and provided warmth in the cold. But this was not its greatest gift. When Prometheus stole fire from the heavens, he bestowed upon man a tool of thought. Once man had fire, the world opened up before him. He was free to invent the steam engine, the light bulb, the telescopic lens to conquer the very stars. Words are the instruments by which human thought is made possible. Take, for instance, the letter A, three simple lines, wholly unremarkable. A is for apple. It is said that when Newton observed an apple falling from a tree, he proposed that all matter exhibited a force of attraction. He called this force gravity or weight. Here, then, is the idea that falling is simply a form of attraction. To fall is to submit under the weight of gravity. I am falling. I am falling in love with you. To love, to feel, to perceive, to know a single truth, to know nothing at all. It is not a word but an idea, not an idea but a phenomena, shouted from rooftops, whispered in cold places, scrawled across the margins of a hundred thousand exercise books. To conceive a word is to pass an idea from one human being to another, just enough perhaps, given the right conditions, to begin something remarkable.